Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you a tool I developed that will allow you to rename emails dynamically in bulk. To download the tool, go to the link in the description below. Once downloaded, you will need to extract it into its own folder. The config file is simply there for convenience and saves the location to where emails are stored and the name informer you want to use so that when you close the app and reopen it, your settings are still there. Once you open the app, all you need to do is drag the email folder to the top. It will load up an email within the folder that will be used as a preview to your naming convention. You can edit the naming rule or clear it and start from scratch. I'm going to go ahead and clear it. Here I'm going to write test and then click on the variables tab at the bottom. Here are all the variables that you can use to dynamically rename all of your emails. They are all pretty self-explanatory, so I won't go through them all other than the blank divider here, which is a space, and the two time buttons down here. Time is set in a 24 hour format, and one of the time variables divides hours and seconds with a dot, and the other doesn't. Let's click on them as an example. Time with a dot, a space, a divider, a space, and time without a dot. Let's also include our email subject in the naming format. Now let's go back to the rename tab. As you can see, the variables are in between the star symbols. Here is the time with the dot, and here is the time without the dot, and then the subject. I can make any edits from here and use the preview text as a guide. Keep in mind that when naming things in Windows, you can't use a column, a question mark, or other specific characters that I have listed in the description below. For this reason, when you try to add these to the app, they won't appear. You should also be aware that email should have a sender and receiver full name in order for the app to work perfectly. Once you're ready, press the rename button and that's it. All of the emails in the folder will be renamed accordingly. If you have emails that have tried to be renamed as the same name, the app will automatically add dash one to the end of the name. 